I would sing with her, say things, and I would say those things with her. Fast forward, when I was doing great, I'm feeling high. Everybody, how are you doing? It's, it's right. I hope you guys are good. Um, happy New Year! This is my first video for 2024. I haven't done um, a video in a long time, and I'm at my sister's place now. I don't have my ring light, I don't have my tripod, I don't have anything, so I'm using my phone to record this, and there's probably going to be like movement because my hand get tired and also the lighting is not gonna be like good because yeah like i said i don't have my ring light with me um how's your year we are in the second month of 2024 how are you doing god has been good on my side and i believe that god is still good on your side as you are still breathing and you are watching this video I want us to pray before I begin with um, telling you guys a story. This is a story video. I'm going to share a story. Um, one of my sisters was like, Sissy, you need to start you know, sharing stories. I think I did it once where I was sharing the story of how I became a Christian, I remember. And that was like two years ago. Let's get rid of that. Yes. Um, let us pray. Father, we thank you in the name jesus we worship you in your name we appreciate you for this year we appreciate you for this day in the name of jesus let your name be glorified my father let your name be lifted up high in the name of jesus mm -hmm. amen okay so um today i want to share a story with you on how i learned english on how i learned how to speak english yes there is a story behind that it's not long or it's not hectic it's a big deal that i share this it's a big deal that i was able to because you know hmm. now i feel like now you know our schools are more advanced than when i was going to school I mean our public schools not private school. i mean our public schools they are more advanced like kids in public schools they are speaking english like and i feel like teachers are doing a good job now then of course those who were like teachers then they did a good job but they were not like courageous as those who are doing it now when it comes to speaking in english um growing up i grew up in a very big household you know my sisters my sisters i mean my aunt's kids they i call them my sisters because we literally grew up together in one household my sisters they went to private schools and i went to a public school don't get me wrong i grew up in a happy happy home very happy home okay um yeah so i'm going to talk about one specific sister actually doo -doo, uh because she was a year older than me and we went to our early childhood learning together and crash. And then she was taken out when I was going to do my, there was no grade at that time, guys. When I was going to do my grade one. But then we used to call it sub A. Yeah. So she went to another school in, I'd say the nearest town. She used to take a bus to go. And I used to walk to school because I was in the village. I'm a village girl, guys. I grew up in the village. And my sister would come back to school from school. And she would sing songs. You know, in grade one, we are still, like, young. We still sing, even though we do other things, draw, write. And she, one thing I remember specifically, when I was doing grade one, I mean, sub A, she came back home one day. She was singing that song. Building up a temple, building up a temple, 
building up a temple of the Lord. And to me, that was like barbaric. I was like, what did she say? You know, I don't know which year was that, but 1990 something. I'm old, guys. Okay, so I was like, mm, Kelly is singing this song. And with me, what we sang is, Moni Moaleona. You know, we sang those songs And I quickly was in, Intrigued by what my, my sister was singing And I started um, Following or singing along You know You know, as a child, guys You don't think about Embarrassment or Failure or Not being good enough Unless you parents or guardian makes you feel like you're not good enough or uh, um makes you feel like what you're doing is embarrassing so i w i was in a very safe space i'd say my home was you know my parents were very courageous and when i say my parents i'm talking from uncles and i was raised by uncles and mom we stayed in one household and my sister would come back from school and sing songs and i would sing with her say things and i would say those things with her fast forward when i was doing great what is it now now it's great uh it's great three yeah now it's great three back then it was sub a sub b then grade one i think yeah so i was doing grade one at that time which is now grade three I still remember this day very well. By the time we learned um, the national anthem in grade three, I had already known, I, I already knew the song. I already knew the anthem and because of my sister. So they were teaching us at school, like they wrote it on the board and it was in a book. I remember it was in a book or something like that. And our teacher was, was, you know, standing there and teaching us the song. And mind you, me guys, our national anthem is not even in English. It was it's in our, you know, our language. Like um, there's, I think, in Northern Sioux today, there's Nguni, Afrikaans, English. Like English is even, yeah. So I knew the anthem, and the reason why I'm sharing this is because. My teacher, my then teacher, took me in front and said, follow her. Okay. I was that girl. I was that girl. Those who were in primary, who, those who were in primary with me, they remember. But I don't think they remember because sometimes, guys, I would remind my mom of things and she'd be like, you're lying. That didn't happen. I have a very sharp memory, like sharp sharp memory i remember things from when i was young i remember them okay so they put me in front and i was leading the class okay in the national anthem we're singing 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 and yeah those are some of my highlights when it comes to uh how i learned not only for how I learned English, but even though the national anthem is not like like entirely in English, but then I learned things from my sister because of the more I, I feel like back then the you know, going to a private school, you the, the education wise was more advanced because some of the things that she 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 learned i learned them at school later i don't know if it's it has to do with the terms because now terms they have to align in terms of curriculum but what i know is that i was always standing out in class because of that so my sister used to say words and i'll copy her my sister used to sing songs and i would copy her i would sing along with her because like the age gap is not that long like she's like one year older not even one like months come to think of it months older yes fast forward i went to high school the high school that i went to speaking english wasn't a thing 
but i feel like high school was better primary guys we learned math in speed we learned english in speed we learned africans in speed i'm not lying even if my teachers see this it's the truth you guys you teach us everything in speed you'll be like um good morning class like i and it's an english period and i understand because we are not exposed to that language at a very young age and the teachers also they need to perform they are expected to perform they need results they need us to also understand so of course you are going to teach us english in speed it's english like the speedy inside anyway i wasn't going there fast forward high school so the high school that i went to you know english wasn't a thing it, it wasn't a train smash um nobody cared about speaking english even in a ems class you can answer your answer in speed but they're teaching us economics and management sciences was it economics management sciences ems yeah so and it wasn't an, a, a thing like the teacher wouldn't say why are you answering no okay let's move on so high school wise um i have friends my friends didn't speak english guys no i continue to learn english on my own but there is a highlight from my high school that i want to share with you guys um my aunt i went to stay with my aunt so i moved from the village and i went to stay with my aunt in palavor my aunt who raised me for five years i stayed with her more than five years though she had a problem i can't say it's a problem she had this thing of reminding me in public if i speak in english She'd be like hi man you should speak in your language hmm. <laughs> and i by the time i was in high school i did not see anything wrong with me speaking in english and i continued to learn i'm telling you guys even now i'm still learning there are words that i hear and i'll be like what does that mean and sometimes people would think that i went to a private school because i love speaking english but i didn't i went to a public school and you i'm telling you if you know a person who went to a private school you would know the difference because okay can you hear the difference can you hear the, they speak their accent is very different from mine very different and there are words that i still get wrong even now so my aunt would have a problem with me speaking in english or replying somebody in english she'd be like she would think that it's impolite but come to think of it, i was a child but then i was a teenager by that time the reason why i'm sharing this is because my aunt auntie if you are watching auntie my aunt now has a how old is now i don't know he's doing grade six his son speaks english guys <laughs> he's going to a private school that child speaks english most of the time and there are words that he doesn't know in speed and my aunt is forced to speak english with him yeah sometimes and i'll be like to my uncle to my aunt i'll be like so you speak english my friend hmm and you had a problem with me <laughs> god look at god but anyway yeah uh fast forward i went to varsity my varsity days i i had a friend when you know when you get to varsity like you don't know anyone and so i met this other girl she used to wear only skirts and because of her church um we became friends but she was quiet she was like quiet like quiet so we didn't really blend we didn't we didn't plan so i i firstly moved from her like I, not in a harshly way like nicely and she could see nice nah, she could see that we're not we're not we're not blending so she found another friend who was kids as well they became friends so i think the second month of being in that school yeah 
being in that campus i met this girl she was in my high school and she we didn't get along i can't say we got along in high school i can't say we hated each other but i didn't like her in high school because she loved me guys she would make us look bad in class and the teacher loved her the teacher loved her because she loved me so when i got to that school i went to i remember i went to one of the classes to attend afternoon class i got to the class and i saw her and she saw me first and she's like she smiled and i smiled back like oh a familiar face hmm so we became friends because like we knew each other and also she didn't know anyone like in terms of our cause she knew yes her cousin wasn't at that same campus but they were doing different courses so we became friends and then i became friends also with another girl now let me tell you something my sister my sister's version okay so my sister was the other girl that i met and we became friends with her so we're now three of us it was me maite and my cousin and i can't say my cousin and maite were friends they were friends because of me because even now my day is still my friend my child is still my friend but they are not friends so we used to be three my child loved english because she had your private school background and she was comfortable in speaking english and i can say by then my vocabulary had now increased and was better and i was so comfortable in speaking english i was like this is not a big deal you know even if i make an error i will fix it we will we will we'll see in front how we can improve this thing um yeah maita on the other hand she wasn't an english person but she was better than both of us when it came to writing it you know you, you give us an essay now and she's good with punctuations guys she's good with 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 like a sentence putting a sentence grammar she's good with that and my husband and i i'd say we were more vocal we were more like public speaking girls or more vocal yeah speaking we, we loved speaking more than writing and yeah by the time i was in varsity i had gotten used to speaking english because even the guy that i dated he at first he wasn't like he wasn't like because he was baby he wasn't like um do you want to speak english kind of guy. i was like Shh, guy i'm 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 on my path of learning and we're gonna speak english so he got used to speaking english with me because i would like now and then randomly just say things in english and because you know he was also in varsity and he was doing law and we just spoke english we spoke english and also he also taught me english because he spoke words that i did not know you know guys what this thing of people who are doing law they speak this english like hey no those words yeah like i said i'm still learning now because they are words that i don't know in english and i hear them and i'm like yeah fast forward after varsity my day still in my life my life is still in my life i met um tando and the lady tando and the lady guys they we were speaking english wire wire well we were speaking our languages tando is kosa the lady is sotu and ampi so we're doing our intern and you know when i was doing my internship i was proud of myself i'm telling you guys i was proud of myself because those girls were speaking english hey yo those girls were speaking english like like my sister my sister kind of english okay yeah accent diabona it was amazing um tando's accent amazing Marie's accent and they really really also like 
improved my vocabulary you know i remember at some point that i'd say but you don't sound like you went to a public school but i could hear that there's a difference because of their accent and my accent as well so tando and the lady also they you know they were they were so free or they they were so embracing like they would embrace this thing of just speaking English. it wasn't a thing it wasn't a big deal you see how now now it's not a big deal now in this generation it's not a big deal to speak english you speak english and no one's gonna be there back then guys i remember when i was in high school there was a day when this other two girls they were speaking in english i was going home because those two girls they were in high school in a private school i mean and i was also in high school but i was in a public school they were speaking english and this other woman in the taxi was bothered by the fact that those girls were speaking in english and she was like mother what's this thing of our kids speaking this language and at that time i didn't understand what was the pro the problem you know so back then it was an issue when you speak english everybody's gonna be like i remember one day hmm, i'd never i'll never ever forget this one day when i was in high school i'll be because i was away from the village when i come back for holidays to see my mom um i was walking on the street and this other guy we actually now we get like kind of friends because i i once told him that yo do you remember there was a day i came across you and you did this he greeted me and i said hello hey guys a mere hello like he said dumela and i was like hello hey he's like hello honamo hey <laughs> guys he's like hello honamo because i'm from the oaks the oaks village and he's like hello honamo oaks <laughs> come to think of it it's very funny now even when I tell him, he's like, I don't remember, I don't recall. And I like, I freezed. I stopped and I looked at him. How is my greeting wrong? How is me saying hello wrong? Yeah, so when I, 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 I take a look at, at my journey or what I went through because of speaking English, it's, it's very funny because now it's not a train smash. You go everywhere, kids are speaking English like i said primary schools public primary schools i have improved you can't talk to a learner who is in public school in english and think you would win those kids they speak english like it's at the back of their heads okay it's not it's no longer a train smash but when i was growing up it was a thing i'm telling you it was an issue i am not saying that knowing our vernacular language is a problem or knowing our home language is, a, is, is an issue but i'm just saying that it like you know if you have a child now the reason why i'm sharing my story it's very important that you encourage them to try now it's very important for you to support them now because when you are older it's not easy for you to like be open to learning because now you are exposed to the society you know what the word embarrassing mean you know what the word um failure mean so you are not gonna try because you feel like if i try they will laugh at me if i try um and i fail or i say something off i'll be a meme uh when you are young you don't care i look back and my sister was singing that song and i'm like i didn't care if i was making errors I was just a happy child embracing what my sister was singing and accepting it and learning from that willing to you know I would be so excited that Basia for your feet my sister is gonna come home and there's something new that she's gonna drop and I look back now and I'm like it was easy for me because I was a child so encourage your kids you know embrace their uh willingness to try and encourage the fact that they are trying and praise them for their efforts as well because i think it is my childhood that gave me that confidence to be like 
I can do this. And believe you me, uh, even now, I refuse to be in a circle of people who are going to be bothered by the fact that now and then I will speak in English. Of course, I'm going to check the environment. Of course, I'm going to, I'm going to check where I am, who I'm with um, before I, 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 I speak or open my mouth. Of course, if I'm, I'm with my grandmother and I'm with my mom or whatever, I'm not going to be like entirely like, oh, y'all, you know, mommy. No, I'm going to speak in bed. I'm going to, you know, speak, just speak, just speak, baby. But I, even when it comes to dating, I refuse to be with a guy. Who, guys, reminds me. I once dated a guy who was bothered by the fact that now and then I spoke in English. And he was like, I, we're not English, yeah, how? And, and he's baby. When I, I said, my guy, you can leave. Because this is me. I'm not going to change it. Because I am learning. I'm still learning. You remember, I'm still learning. And I feel so comfortable. I feel so at ease. And I'm telling you, there is no one in my circle who's bothered by the fact that I I speak in English now and then. I don't speak English all the time. I speak English sometimes. I speak petty. I'm a petty girl. But I now and then I piggyback. Now and then I am gonna speak in English. And also it matters in you know my path of 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 you know my pub public speaking path. Yeah, I'm hoping one day I'll be big. Somebody big. Um in the matters of God, of course, God everything. For me, Jesus is my everything. Um, I will speak about God in every channel of my, my life. Everyone in my circle knows that I put God first. And I'm not going to compromise when it comes to my my God. So, I even for my channel, English is going to play a big role. I'm very certain that if you watch some of my videos, you're going to listen to me and be like, that was an error. What did you say? Why? Because I'm still learning. And I'm not going to be discouraged just because I'm still learning. No ways. So I hope this helps you and your kids. And how you grow your kids. What you say to your kids. How you say that. I'm not saying that just because you're an adult, you can't learn. You can. It's not late. You just need to remove the mentality of, oh, I'm afraid to be embarrassed. Or what will people say? Um you know and also the people you are around if you make an error in a statement or a sentence and they correct you don't be angry allow them to correct you be free for them to correct you yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my story i hope my story was courageous don't forget to like comment and share this video let us close in prayer Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. You are God in our lives. You are God from the beginning. You are still God even at this moment. I pray for each and every person who was listening to me as I was speaking. May you usher, to, usher them in this week with greatness. I pray that my Father, you usher them this week with your glorious power, miraculous power in the name of of jesus i pray that oh lord my father may you enable them and you give them the strength oh lord jesus to carry on their deeds and dreams and visions all in the name of jesus i pray amen